Yeah, so Scala, um, I was doing, uh, uh, I was uh, getting into big data analytics um, at a startup, and we were using Ruby, believe it or not. And it just became obvious after, and that wasn't my choice. <laughs> and after a while, it became obvious that that was uh, too slow and we needed something faster. We wanted to do real-time analytics and volume of data, you know, it was not going to be easy to do with something like Ruby. So I looked into, at the time, some, a, a coworker of mine found Scala, actually. And I looked into it and I found some really neat libraries like Akka for doing um, stream, you know, stream processing. So we got into that and, you know, the prototype worked really well and that actually developed into a product. And, um, and after that, we, we just kept on you know, doing more and more things in Scala. Oh, ideal stack. Um, well, I think hmm, it's, prob it, it's probably a little bit different because I work in data as opposed to like uh, servers. Um, you know, but uh, I feel like I'm mostly working on um, my ideal stack. Uh, in, in other words, um, I work with uh, Spark and Cassandra. Spark is written in Scala already. Um, we work with Akka like every day, you know. So, so, so um, there's only a few things that uh, we're held back by, such as we're still on Scala 2.10 because our our version of Spark is on 2.10. So there's some limitations there. It'd be nicer to uh, go forward with 2.11, 2.12, and so forth, and use newer versions of libraries. But the stack is pretty much what we want. It's just not as new as we want, basically. Um, unfortunately, I'll only be uh, here today, but I, I, all of them sound really interesting, to be honest. It's gonna be difficult to, uh, it's gonna be difficult to pick. <laughs>